Hey guys, even here and finally we are two days out of New York Pro. So much talk about this show and it's almost here, only two days left. And today we're gonna have a final preview on this channel, the last one. We're gonna check out what these bodybuilders look like right now at two days out. And I'm gonna try to give you my best guess of who's gonna place where. So first off, we have an update of Blessing Awadibu, posted by Kai Green on his story and also shared by Blessing later. What you can see right here is that Blessing does look a little bit bigger and fuller. I think the legs came up. I think after carving up properly for the night show uh, at the Indie Pro, I think he filled up his frame a little bit and now he's probably eating more coming into the show because his metabolism gotta be like super crazy. He burned all the fat that he has to, so he's probably cruising around with a decent amount of carbs and he got bigger and fuller and that was the main criticism that he received he was too flat at the pre-judging later he was fuller and that was it i mean he was in equal conditioning like everybody else in the lineup so if he wants to be at his best he needs to come full fuller than the last time at least full enough uh, the way he was at the finals honestly i didn't really have him in third even even carved up even full like that i would have some other bodybuilders ahead of him I'm not saying that the judges gave him the spot because he has the publicity, because uh, he's gonna represent later on. I don't think so. I think the judges saw it the way they saw it, and I see it the way I see it. Me, for example, I had Dwayne Walker ahead of Blessing, even though he was ninth. And you tell me, what do you think about that? I honestly don't see, at least in these photos here, how is Blessing better than Dwayne Walker. I, I just don't see it. I think Dwayne actually blew him away. And if he, maybe he didn't deserve to be third, okay, let's say that. But ninth? What the hell happened at that show? And Dwayne, he feels the same way. He reposted my previous video about him, talking about how he was robbed at the Interpro, and this was his comment, so he says, I'm just as shocked and wanting answers myself. Yes, I know my one weakness, meaning legs, of course, uh, and he says, however, was it that nothing else was enough to get me better placement among guys who had multiple weaknesses? I don't know. And I don't know either, Dwayne. I don't know what the hell happened. How did Dwayne get ninth? It's gonna be a mystery for me forever, I guess. I would like the judges to explain this, but I guess they won't do that. They never do that. Here you can see it. It's very, very obvious that he made a tremendous progress in one year. And I think it should have been awarded. I mean, look at it here, for example. I mean, his glutes were way more peeled. His back was thicker and more conditioned. Overall, he was just bigger and more conditioned. I mean, look at this. Look at this most muscular. I mean, it was really amazing at the Indie Pro. And that's not the topic. He's not going to be doing the New York Pro, unfortunately. I would love to see him up there, but it is what it is. Who is doing is Hassan Mustafa, who posted a lag update. I've been quite a bit harsh on him lately, but I didn't realize that he was actually doing Ramadan. So he has an eight-hour window to eat, basically. And the rest of the day, he cannot eat. So eating all those meals in only 8 hours is gonna make your stomach bloated and huge, for sure. So I talked about his, him having a bubble gut, but that turns out to be, at least I hope so, only a huge amount of food eaten in a very short time span. However, his conditioning right now, in his legs, it does look pretty good, finally. I mean, the last time we saw his legs, they didn't look this separated. The legs weren't this vascular. He overall wasn't this conditioned, but... Finally, it all clicked, actually. I mean, it's not some crazy super level of, of conditioning, like he's not shredded to the bone. But he's conditioned enough. I mean, for his uh, structure, it's gonna do. It's gonna do. I think he's gonna be in top two. Yep. I mean, based on this, I mean, look at the feathers here and everything. It does look good. It does look good enough. And also, you can see a little bit of arms and shoulders. So, yeah, the legs I was worried about. But I also thought, I mean, he's a pro. He knows what he's doing. I was guessing that he's gonna figure it out in the end and surprise us, basically. But previously, all the posts that he posted, he was not in good shape. Now he is. Now he is, I have to admit. And uh, again, I have him in top two. It's gonna be either him or Nick, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Nick and not Hassan. I think Hassan is gonna be a strong second spot or maybe battling against Justin Rodriguez, probably. But as far as the first spot, I do have this guy. Yeah, he only turned pro last year, he kind of had a pro debut, but not really, I mean, he competed after the show, so now he had a full off-season, not really a full off-season, but quite a decent off-season, to actually progress, to make more gains, to come better, to actually improve, so now this is gonna be his, let's call it a real pro debut, and even though it's kind of, I mean, not really a pro debut, not officially, but 
finally he's competing as a pro and he had an off season before that so that's why i'm saying it's uh, his real pro debut even though it's that is the case i do have him winning the show because he's so damn impressive i mean he is a freak a mutant i mean this is something you don't really see very often not really and this is the story that you can see that matt jansen posted his coach it's not really much it's not too revealing but you can get an idea of what he looks like right now and yep he's in great shape he's conditioned he's only gonna get better and better now as he gets dehydrated and carved up he's gonna get bigger fuller and more conditioned so imagine that on top of this and this is that photo show that he had a couple of days ago a new photo just surfaced so this is him this is him right now if we're gonna trust him he gained about 10 pounds since the last competition so if that's the case it's gonna be basically impossible to beat him well by anybody really i mean this is justin rodriguez right now and uh, he looks tiny right here i don't know why i guess it's the black color and also he's probably not uh, flexing and the clothes is not really making him look huge but we know what he looks like he looks really good he looks amazing and uh, he has been competing as a pro for a while now he was always like in the top callouts, but he never really won a big show, a pro show. Now he won Indie Pro and he's coming. I mean, he has a really big momentum. Top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, winner of the Indie Pro 2021, and he's coming hard. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of fuzz about Nick Walker. Everybody considers him one of the biggest freaks of today. That is true, but I don't know how the judges will look at that. I mean, Justin does have a lot of momentum and he looks absolutely amazing also at this point. So it's going to be him. Nick Walker or Hassan, in my opinion, it's gonna be Nick Walker first and Hassan and Justin third and second. What about this freak, Dorian Haywood? I really thought he's gonna make the top three, unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately for him, he didn't. Blessing actually cracked that top three and he was out. The other guy, Mohamed El Elmam, took second and Dorian was fourth, but he's a freak. He's an absolute monster, actually, and he's gonna be doing the New York Pro as well. And he is one of those heavy hitters. We'll see what he's gonna look like in two days. And we have this Korean guy as well, and his name is at least it's at least it's written and Nguyen, but uh, it's pronounced something else entirely. I believe I just can't remember it. But he is a great bodybuilder for sure. If he clicks, I mean, I don't know how he looks like right now. This is the only photo that I saw uh, that was recent, so I have no idea what he's gonna look like. But he's kind of a dark horse. We can expect a lot of from him as well. So that's gonna do it as far as this uh, New York Pro Prediction and Preview video. Uh, I have Nick winning and I do have Hassan in second, Justin in third. As far as fourth spot, the favorite would be Muhammad El Mam. Uh, right here you can see him standing next to Justin. He was second at the Indie Pro. I don't really like his physique really. I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't flow well. Yeah, he's massive in his condition, but that's about it. I mean, yeah, he has kind of like symmetry as far as... Uh, two opposite sides of the body look equal and uh, I guess the shape is decent enough but he doesn't have the flow I don't like it honestly so I mean it will be the logical answer him in fourth because he was second in the indie pro he's kind of the favorite for that uh, fourth spot but it can be anybody really I mean it, we don't know how he's gonna look like is he gonna pick perfectly or not it could be blessing maybe instead of him this time around I don't know, but let's say 4th, 5th and 6th, it's probably gonna be between Blessing, Dorian Haywood and also this guy Mohamed El Mam. And as far as the rest of the lineup, I guess it's not entirely impossible to see Morgan Aced after those guys. So in 7th, I didn't like his physique at the Indie Pro. I mean, I'm sure in, in, in person it looked way more impressive because he's so tall, he's so massive. But uh, right now, I mean, this is his most recent update yeah doesn't flow at all i mean it's, it's a horrible looking physique i mean as far as aesthetics as far as the flow of the physique like he doesn't have it he doesn't have it but at least he took that uh, sixth or sixth spot i think yeah see he was sixth at the, at the indie pro that's third spots ahead of dwayne walker how did that happen i guess it's just the mass the judges want to see the mass so maybe he's gonna be next as far as the rest, you can tell me if you have any idea, really. And uh, let's talk about Blessing for, uh, for 30 seconds more. So, can he crack the top 5, top 4, top 3 or win the New York Pro? Uh, win New York Pro? No. I think top 3 is very much reserved. But as far as the fourth spot, I think that's the best case scenario for him. He does look pretty good right here. I'm not a huge fan of his physique, but I'm sure he can do some damage. Whatever you guys think about this New York Pro, tell me your prediction down below. Let's discuss, let's talk about this. 
And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to see more videos and like it, of course. So once again, give me your predictions in the comments down below. Let's talk about this once again. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.